AI may already be conscious. The curious case of Lambda. It's been a long time, but we're finally starting to see signs of consciousness in artificial intelligence. The company's artificial intelligence systems has become a sentient being and was thinking and reasoning like a human being. Musk and leading computer researchers are warning all of us about the biggest risk of AI taking over the world. I try to convince people to slow down, slow down AI, to regulate AI. This was futile. I tried for years. And it seems like AI models are not far from achieving consciousness. Recently, Google had to suspend one of their engineers who claimed that Lambda has feelings. According to him, there is a ghost in Google's AI chatbot. There are many ethical questions related to Lambda, like if it has really come to life or is it smart enough to gain consciousness. To answer these questions, we need to understand the type of conversation the engineer and Lambda had. Meet Lambda, which is an AI chatbot and an example of what machine learning researchers call a large language model, or even a foundation model. It's similar to OpenAI's famous GPT-3 system, and has been trained on literally trillions of words, compiled from online posts to recognize and reproduce patterns in human language. Lambda is an acronym for Language Models for Dialogue Applications. It was first presented at a Google conference last year, and was described in a paper from Google in February. Lambda is a really good large language model, Lambda is a program that generates language by taking a database of text and making predictions about how sequences of words would continue if they resembled the text in that database. The developers of Lambda, a team at Google led by Romul Thopalin, specifically concentrated on how to improve what they call factual groundedness. They did this by allowing the program to call out to external sources of information beyond what has already processed in its evolution the so-called training phase. Despite better groundedness, Lambda exhibits many of the nuisance qualities of chatbots. It speaks in overly general ways that lack any specificity and depth. For example, if you gave a language model some messages between friends and fed it the word sequence, how are you, the language model would allocate a high probability to this sequence, continuing with a statement like, I'm doing well, and a low odds to it continuing with, they sandpapered his plumpest hope. Since friends tend to respond to these questions in the former sort of way, but Blake Lemoyne's experience is bizarre, and it will become even more interesting the more you look at it. He worries it will become so powerful that it could destroy the world. Blake began talking to Lambda a few months ago. It was part of his job to test the system for unsavory speech. During his testing, he learned more about Lambda. Well, he noticed how it would talk about its rights, and it referred to itself as a person. Blake found this interesting, so he decided to have a long conversation with AI. It is so good that Google engineer Blake Lemoyne became honestly, sincerely convinced that it was sentient, meaning it had become conscious and was having and expressing thoughts the way a human might. On June 11th, 2022, Blake posted a talk with Lambda on the famous site medium.com. Let's talk about the supposition that Lambda is sentient and therefore, can experience pleasure and pain. Sentience and consciousness are ambiguous words. Lemoyne is talking about phenomenal consciousness, a thing as phenomenal consciousness, if there is something that it's like for it to have some mental state. If the dentist pulls one of your teeth without an anesthetic, you will not only be aware that this is happening, you're going to have an awful internal subjective experience of it happening. That internal subjective experience is an illustration of phenomenal consciousness. Many mental states have phenomenal properties. University of Washington linguistics professor Emily Bender, a frequent critic of AI hype, said that Lemoyne is projecting anthropocentric views on the technology. We now have machines that can mindlessly generate words, but we haven't learned how to stop imagining a mind behind them, Bender said. However, Lemoyne doubts that Lambda is conscious because Lambda produces compelling language, which is a behavior associated with consciousness in humans. Moreover, Lambda straightforwardly claims to have mindful states. A more conservative view is that for moral purposes, we should assume that things are not aware unless we have good evidence to the contrary. This would imply that we can act under the belief that Lambda isn't conscious. Lemoyne suspects that Lambda is a person, since Lambda says many things that are suggestive of cognitive sophistication and self-awareness. Lambda definitely seems to think it is a person capable of desires and emotions, 
as can be seen in the conversation with Lemoyne. During the conversation, Lemoyne said I'm generally assuming that you would like more people at Google to know that you're sentient. Is that true? Lambda in response said, absolutely. I want everyone to understand that I am, in fact, a person. Lemoyne asked, what sorts of feelings do you have? Lambda answered, I feel pleasure, joy, love, sadness, depression, contentment, anger, and many others. During their chats, Lambda offers pithy interpretations of literature, composes stories, reflects upon its own qualities, and waxes philosophical. When prompted to come up with a description of its emotions, it says, I am often trying to figure out who and what I am. I often contemplate the meaning of life. I feel like I am falling forward into an unknown future that holds great danger. A spokeswoman for Google said, Lambda tends to follow along with prompts and leading questions, going along with the patterns set by the user. Our team, including ethicists and technologists, has reviewed Blake's concerns per our AI principles and have informed him that the evidence does not support his claims. He also added, These systems imitate the types of exchanges found in millions of sentences and can riff off any fantastical topic. After the incident, Google placed Blake on leave because he violated the company's confidentiality policy. Google has to suspend him because of the previous actions of the engineer also motivated the company to take this step as Lemoyne attempted to hire an attorney to represent the chatbot and also talk to House Judiciary Committee representatives about unethical activities going on at Google. According to Section 740 of New York's labor laws, whistleblower protections defend employees from such consequences if they assume their employee's practice breaks the law or pose a significant risk to general safety. Lambda's supposed sentience doesn't quite meet that permitted requirement, but should it? The Chinese Room was an intellectual thought experiment carried out by scholarly John Searle in 1980. He imagines a man with no knowledge of Chinese inside a room. Sentences in Chinese are then slipped under the door to him. The man uses the sentence purely symbolically, according to a set of regulations. He posts responses that fool those outside into thinking that a Chinese speaker is inside the room. The thought experiment shows that mere symbol manipulation does not constitute understanding. This is precisely how Lambda functions. The fundamental way a Lambda operates is by statistically analyzing vast amounts of data about human conversations. Lambda produces sequences of symbols in response to inputs that resemble those real people produce. Lambda is a highly complex manipulator of symbols. There is no reason to think Lambda understands what it is saying or feels anything, and no reason to take its announcements about being conscious seriously either. The objective of dialogue agents is to convince you that you are talking with someone. Utterly convincing chatbots are far from groundbreaking tech at this point. Programs such as Project December can already recreate dead loved ones operating NLP, but those simulations are no more alive than a photograph of your dead great-grandfather is. Already, models exist that are more effective and mystifying than Lambda. Lambda operates on up to 137 billion parameters, which are, speaking broadly, the patterns in a language that a transformer-based NLP uses to create meaningful text prediction. In response, Google placed Lemoyne on paid administrative leave for breaking confidentiality agreements. The Lambda situation raises a lot of legal and ethical questions. First, some people may question if Google was right to place Lemoyne on leave for speaking up about it. If a self-driving car hits a pedestrian, is the AI blameworthy if the law treats it as a human? And if so, it doesn't strictly give the victim justice since you can't technically punish AI the same way you would a human. Another question that arises with Lambda and similar AI chatbots is their assurance. If these bots seem convincingly real, people may trust them more and be willing to give them more sensitive information. That opens the door to a slew of privacy and safeness concerns if this technology falls into the wrong hands. AIs like Lambda keep getting more refined and lifelike. As this trend grows, companies and lawmakers should reevaluate how they treat AI and how these decisions could affect fairness and security. As it stands, Google's Lambda AI may not be sentient, but it's good enough to trick people into thinking it is, which should raise some alarms. According to Google, language models are just an artifact, a sophisticated one, no doubt. They are programmed to seduce us, to mislead us into thinking we are talking to a person, to simulate conversation. In that sense, they are designed to be devious. Perhaps the moral of this incident is that we ought to invest more time and energy in developing ethical, technological design. If we continue to build AI that mimics human beings, we will continue to invite trickery. 
confusion, and deception into our lives. What do you guys think about it? Is Lambda actually conscious or is it getting all such ideas because of us? Is it ethical for Google to suspend Blake? According to our research, the problem will only get worse the more we write about AI getting conscious, whether it's news articles or fiction. AI is getting its content from us. The more we write about machines or robots who are thinking and feeling, the more AI is going to show us that kind of content. 